Well, greetings and welcome to another one of our videos. And this one was inspired by a viewer comment that I was intrigued by, and it has to do with the Zoom F3, the field recorder. And the question was whether or not you could input a USB mic in through the USB-C input on that. And I don't know the answer to that. And for me, the best way to figure this stuff out is to just give it a try. So I've got my uh, Audio-Technica, uh, I believe this is the uh, AT2020, uh, uh, which is both XLR USB. I've used it with this before. It works great. Got it connected uh, USB-C cable into the Zoom F3. And I've got the F3 on and as you can see right here, hopefully, um, there's no wave patterns going on there. Put the mic on, so I'll make sure that that's on. And uh, test one, two, test one, two. Now, there's no sound that's going into it through here. The Zoom is meant to go through these two uh, XLR inputs and uh, that's it. Now, I always think of the F3 as a, a field recorder that happens to be able to do some interface type stuff as opposed to an interface that happens to be a field recorder. And what it's most useful for is because you can record dual channel into your 32-bit float so you have infinite headspace and infinite floor as well. Any of this other stuff, the, the uh, USB-C is used as a data interface. Uh, you can use it at this as an interface into your computer, although then you lose your 32-bit it float and I won't get into details about that. Uh, but in terms of inputting through um, the USB-C, it just doesn't do that. It's not built to do that and it's meant to be an XLR only uh, recorder. And then as far as recording through the uh, three and a half millimeter, these are purely, there's a line out in the headphone and the difference between the line out is just a, a clean signal and the headphone you can control the volume on it. That's purely an output, not an input. Now, I know the question's gonna come up, uh, with a USB-C or even a lightning onto your smartphone, you can record into that as well as uh, hear through that, so inputs and outputs. And the answer to that is it's built to do that. Um, it's wired for that. You figure, um, when you're talking about TRRS, so tip ring ring sleeve on your 3.5 millimeter, you've got your left, you've got your right, you've got your ground, and you've got your microphone. Lightning is built to do that as well. The USB-C into a smartphone is built to do that as well. On the F3, it's just not made to do that. So unfortunately this time the answer is no, it doesn't actually do that, but it's a great XLR recorder, and if you're looking for something with 32-bit float that's uh, robust and you can input uh, other things like a 3.5 millimeter mic into it, I would strongly suggest looking at the Rode Wireless Pro. I'm actually using that right now for the sound on this. It's got a 3.5 millimeter input on the transmitters, and so any microphone that you can uh, get to a 3.5 uh, millimeter, uh, I believe it would have to be a TRS or maybe just a TR, I'm not sure which, I, don't quote me on that one, or TS rather. Um, I haven't tried it, but that's a great idea to try that in the future. That one is made for uh, inputting things like a lavalier mic or something along those lines. So if you're looking for that kind of connectivity and, uh, and the wireless package, I mean, it's a great unit. But the Zoom, fantastic. Love it. I've used this to death. But in terms of this exact setup here, it's just not made to do that. So unfortunately, the answer is no. So that's our video for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you've got additional questions or comments, uh, comment below. Let me know what you think. Like, share, and subscribe. We'll catch up with you next time. If you're facing a unique problem with podcasting or remote learning, we can help. Reach out to us at thepodcastingstore.com and we'll see what solutions we can find for you. And if you like what you hear, do me a favor and tell a friend. Follow us on Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and sign up for our e-newsletter and you'll never miss another podcast or video again. This is Drew with thepodcastingstore.com. Thank you for listening.